super quick one today. Uh, I know with fitness, a lot of times when we start going to uh, group fitness classes and things like that, we may be doing, you know, what seems to be different things all the time. Um, but even in group fitness, they're probably sticking to about 12 movements. There's just a lot of different variations and different ways to do that. But I think with most people, and this is something I try to drive home with my clients a lot, most of the time we just need to get really, really good at the basics, the good foundational functional movements, things like squats, hinge movements, or deadlifts, which is the same thing. Um, you know, uh, getting really good at uh, rowing and pull downs and bench press and overhead press. Um, the, uh, I think, you know, with the nature of like CrossFit and Groove Fitness, a lot of times people think they need to be doing different things every single day or they need to be jumping from uh, program to program or different programs each week. And that's usually not the case. Usually we have the best results when we get really, really good and proficient at the basic movements and the, the basic foundational movements. And, you know, for a novelty, just so we don't get super bored, there's a lot of different ways to, let's say, squat, for example. There's a lot of different variations when it comes to squatting. There's a lot of different variations when it comes to doing deadlifts. You know, you could do a hex bar deadlift, barbell deadlift, dumbbell deadlift, kettlebells. There's a lot of different ways to skin a cat in that regard. Um, but usually what people need to get really, really good at is the basics. Uh, the basic movement patterns, get really good at those and you'll have tremendous results. And if you need uh, any help with like uh, writing up a program or something at home or uh, you want to come check out my space and, and train a little bit, just hit me up. Maybe we can make that happen and hope you have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.